Hello, Julie joining you as the Vinya Stamps celebrate the release of a new set of stamps. Tracy's created something a little bit different for you this time and we're having a clockwork carnival to celebrate. For this card, I used the following stamps. Cog set three, the clock set, words of steam, one of the wings from the small angel wing set, the topper, Zia, and textures one and three. They're beautiful stamps. Also used the Lavinia elements in green sleeves, pine, mermaid, violet chalk, confetti and Sahara and Versa Fine Claire in Nocturne. I use the Copper Mica Mineral, Mahogany Twist in the Mica Spray. I needed a couple of brushes and I also created a couple of masks using post-it notes. Let's get started. I started off by cutting my A4 piece of multifarious card into four pieces. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of the green sleeves, the pine and the mermaid onto my mat and then I'm going to use my brush to flick in the colour. Now I'm not going right to the centre of the card as I want to keep this lighter so that when I stamp Zia her face doesn't start off by being really green. So I'm just adding the colour around the edges Picking up the colour as I go. This is one of those Teflon mats that I've had for years. It just means my brush glides in a bit easier than it does if I'm using a piece of card. Did that make sense? What I mean is if I've got a piece of card under it to add the colour. The brush doesn't slide in as well. Right, now I'm just going to add a little bit across the middle. But, but not adding a heavy layer. There we are. Now I'm going to just gently spritz a small amount of the mahogany twist, give it a good shake first. Just want it more around the edge than in the middle. So this piece of card is just protecting it a little bit. There you are. Actually, to touch that corner a bit more colour. There we are. Just going to pitch a little bit. If you've not used the mist sprays before, you might not know that they add a beautiful shimmer. 
if you can see that. Right, now I'm just going to put a paper pad underneath just to help with getting a nice clean stamp. And I'm going to start by just working out roughly where I'm going to need my clock to be. When I've done this, I can add a little post-it note just to keep in my head where it is I want it to go. And then I'm going to stamp or ink up my clock stamp. Work out which way I want it to go and remove my mask. Now if you're going to cut a mask from a post-it note make sure you do it with only part of it on the sticky area. That gives you a little area to be able to lift it easily. Now I'm going to place my mask back onto my card. And then come back in with topper. I'm going to ink it up with the Versafine Claire and the Nocturne. Make sure you give it a really good coating. And then I'm going to stamp. Picture where I want the clock to be on the card. I want it to sit just on the band level. Place my stamp on, apply the pressure and remove it. Just take off the mask. Here you are. And you can see the clock's just sitting there above the band. Now I'm going to want to paint to stamp Zia there. So I've got another mask that I created, but this time I've only cut the bottom edge off. So I'm going to put that on to protect it because Zia's got these little distressed areas above her pit, above her face. Does that make sense? But there's a little dotted area just there. And I didn't want that to show up on the edge of the top hat. Right, so I'm going to ink her up again. Using the Nocturne Versafine Claire. And then just going to put her into position, apply pressure, and remove her. She's so beautiful. I tell you, I've stamped her or coloured her up in so many different colours, and each time she looks different. But she's so pretty. Now, you can see that the hat's in the right position, but I'm going to just apply the mask again because I want to give her a veil. And for that, I'm going to use the Texture One stamp. Put it on my block. Now, 
think what I might do is I'm just going to put a mask, an area of paper on this edge because it's got the rough area here or the rough edge to the stamp but I don't want it to come so that it sits out further than the rim but I want it to cover her face so I'm just going to place that there and hopefully it'll work so I can cut my stamp and work out the angle that I want the net area to cover her face like a veil apply some pressure and there you go like that I'm going to then use one of those little angel wings and I think I might use violet chalk to stamp this one Just place that there over the edge of the hat. I think this looks beautiful, like a little feather. In fact, I might just use the second generation. Just add a few more tufts. Now, I'm going to give her a little bit of colour to the hat. And for that, I'm just going to have a little spritz of my mahogany twist on my mat. Just a little bit of water and my brush. And just paint it on. The more water you add to these, the paler it's going to look. There you are. Now you can see just here, I went over the edge when I was colouring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in just with a damp cloth. And gently lift it a little bit you are the next thing I'm gonna do is just the tiny tiny little bit of this mica mineral put a little bit on my mat Add a little bit of the Sahara. And a spritz of water. Mix them together. By adding the mica mineral, it just gives that nice shimmer. And I'm going to use that for painting the band on my hat. And also the face of my clock. I'm 
There you go. Look at that mist. Beautiful. Give my brush a quick clean. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of confetti and a damp brush, pick up at some colour and paint her lips. There you go. Now, what I might do is go back in with my copper mineral powder and my damp brush and just add a little bit of colour to the eyelets where the laces go the stamp. good now this one this texture stamp makes me think almost of a snake skin and it's perfect for adding a distressed look to the edge of your card I'm gonna go with the black versifying Claire and just go right around the edges of my card. See what I mean about it looking like a snake skin? use some of my cogs just dump them around my card oh, I just love these steampunk stamps I've made so many cards using them you like them too. Right, so that's one of them. I'll do some second generation as well. It just adds some depth to my card. one just gonna randomly stump him around there you go now I just want to add the steampunk sentiment to the card and I couldn't work out quite where I wanted it to go so I thought I would do is just because the card is, has an almost distressed look to it I've just used the piece of paper that I mopped up with inked up my stamp on my finger and then just stamped it Boom. just 
just roughly cut it out. rubbing it on the edge to take the whiteness off the cut edge. I'm going to put that on my card. Now it doesn't have to lay completely flat. Just run it between your fingers until you think you like how it looks. A little bit of wet glue. And just put it on. It's more or less done, I think. What I've noticed here though, I've just missed a little bit of a face that I would like to be showing there. Oh, like she'd got a little bit of hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to come back in with texture three. You've got to be careful here because you don't want add too much but if you just lay a mask on there make sure you don't go too mad but you can just lay it along there and it just blends in that area so it doesn't look so well, blank like I've put it in the wrong place. <laughs> right, I've added, sorry, I splashed a little bit of colour there that I didn't mean to. I'm just going to go in there with a wet brush and lift it a little bit. Dry a bit of my cloth. And what I will also do is lift some of that colour where her eyes are just using a wet brush so you paint where the white of the eye should be and then blot it hopefully you can see there She's got the white of her eye again. Now you could, if you wanted to, add a little bit more to this card. And for that, I'm going to use a quickie glue pen. And I'm just going to, oh, I forgot to take the little end cap off. I'm just going to roughly add a little bit around the edge here of my paper I'm going to add a few flicks of my feather and I might also add a few little bits on the cogs I'm not being too exact here because the beauty of steampunk is the distressed look suits it. So I've just randomly added some little lines. Then I'm going to come in with 
plates on the gilding plates. I think I'm going to use jewel this time. Oh, glamour. Oh, which should I use? Look at these beautiful colours. Right, I've already made up my mind. I'm going to use Glamour. Let's take a little pinch of the flakes and touch the areas where you've used the glue pen. Doesn't matter if you can always put them all back in the jar afterwards. Oh, look at that feather or oh, angel wing. That's beautiful. If you can see how it just adds that little bit of something extra. little bit there that I like some on and also I'm going back to those little rivets or eyelets on the hat now I'll wait for those to dry a little bit whilst I'm doing that I might actually come in with a oh what pen should I use don't think I want white laces, do I? Oh, yeah, that looks nice. And then I'm going to just add those to those eyelids. You can just go on and on with this. You'll know when to stop, hopefully. Something that I tend not to know when to do. I'm just going to add a touch more colour to the hat using the confetti. I've just stamped a little bit into the lid for this. But I just felt that it needed that little darker area in some places I do love how that texture stamp can looks as a veil perfect And there you are. You could just use the edge of your back black ink pad to the slightly darker edge. You can't be careful how you do this. You don't want to slip. Just adds a little bit of strength to the colour from where I added this distressed stamping. I'm just gluing up my card or gluing up my image. I'm adding it to my card. There you are. I don't think it needs to be matted and layered. I think it's perfect just as it is. That's the one with a nice jaunty top hat. 
and that was the original I don't know which I prefer because they're both gorgeous hope you're enjoying the rest of the extravaganza have fun <laughs>